On the edge of Herat in western Afghanistan, captured Soviet weaponry frames a museum dedicated to remembering the horrors of war. The walls are filled with the names of the hundreds of thousands of Afghans who died when the Mujahideen rose up against the Soviet occupation. What people feared most was aerial bombing from the Soviets. It was very tough. What was most distressing was the killing of women, children and the elderly. That united us to fight the Soviets for the independence of our country. At the heart of the museum, life-size statues of former Mujahideen fighters guard the entrance to a dramatic diorama that takes visitors through the war against the Soviets. If history is written by the victors, then the story might appear too straightforward. Soviets murder villagers, villagers rise up, Soviets are killed, the Mujahideen marches home victorious. But it's one of the few easily accessible accounts in the country. Afghanistan's school history books often gloss over the more than 30 years of conflict that have blighted this country. This museum was created in part to remind future generations graphically of the horrors of war. The museum was founded by a former Mujahideen commander. His son, a local politician and businessman, reflects a view often heard from Afghans these days, that history is about to repeat itself. <laughs> When the Soviets were defeated, the world abandoned us. They didn't help reconstruct this country. They didn't even want a functioning government to be established. Now it's the same over again. We've sacrificed ourselves for the world in the war against terrorism. In return, after 12 years of the Afghan suffering and thousands of people being killed, they're going to abandon us again. NATO's combat mission here ends this year. It's a prearranged withdrawal, not a Soviet-style retreat. But that doesn't stop people feeling uneasy about what the future holds. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Herat, Afghanistan.